Thank you so much. Now, to finally, to end our, our opening panel, we are delighted to have Bernard Kira here from the organization Innovate Now. And Bernard, before you begin, what I want to say is the now part. Innovate Now. We are doing it now, right? No more talking, no more dreaming. We're doing it now. So I think that's that sense of urgency and this huge opportunity that we have at the moment. We've got to grab it and go and do committed action. So thank you, Bernard. Finish off our uh, opening panel. So a huge round of applause, please, for Bernard. Thank you very much. Uh, good morning. Um, it is a pleasure to be on this table, and I will tell you a short, sweet story, and maybe challenge you a little bit at the end of how we built um, the largest innovation ecosystem in Africa for assistive technology. My name is Bernard Shira. I am Kenyan. Um, I'm 37 years old. Um, today I'm wearing a red wine sweater, a white shirt, and I'm seated uh, next to Martin here. Mm -hmm. I'm not at the podium. Um, so today we live in a world that is quickly and rapidly evolving. Our challenges are compounded by a past that is full of barriers and a future that is coming at us quicker than we can react. You've all heard that we are living now in the fourth industrial revolution. So before we can even think about what the future is gonna be like for persons with disabilities, we have to think about now. So Innovate Now was started around three and a half years ago by the Global Disability Innovation Hub who I was privileged to meet in the most awkward way, because I can tell you before 2018, I was not working in the disability space. In my heart, I've always had an ambition that as a person with disability, born with osteogenesis imperfecta or brittle bone disease, and coming from a family where four siblings out of seven had disabilities, I knew what it was like to grow and live with a disability from childhood and the many barriers we now have to remove for today and into the future. And I, I began my career and ended up in technology and business, running a business incubator in one of the leading universities in Kenya. But around three and a half years ago, something interesting happened in my life. And I met my senior colleague, Catherine Holloway, who is in this room, uh, from the Global Disability Innovation Hub, and she came to Kenya with a mission that we can find ways to innovate, think different, act different, and lead new ways of taking assistive technology to those who need it most in Africa. And she mentioned two words that really changed my life, and that was disability innovation. Now, for those of us who come from either world, either the disability movement or the innovation world of entrepreneurship and uh, startups, rarely do those two meet. And this, for me, was the place I knew that um, I had found my path to lead the establishment of Africa's first assistive technology accelerator, and we launched it in partnership and this is the spirit of this conference, this table. And I want you to ask yourself, what will you do with this platform? What will you do with the pleasure of the person ne sitting next to you to drive our common agenda forward? So we started with the premise that if we can innovate to solve some of the world's biggest problems, like access to finance and energy in Kenya, if we can find ways to bank 90% of populations that were unbanked in less than a decade, then we must include persons with disabilities. We must unleash this power of innovation and technology to solve 
for access to assistive technology. So as you may all know, um, assistive technology makes life possible for us who have disabilities. So it is very much to us next to food, shelter and clothing, isn't it? But unfortunately, markets in developing countries have not yet been developed to take these products to those who need it. We lack distribution, we lack financing mechanisms, and this is the work that we've been doing by inviting entrepreneurs on the table. That is the story of the Innovate Now. I will be speaking about this in a panel tomorrow, but I wanna finish by saying this. This is the time to turn on the turbo. It is not the time to slow down. This is the time to think exponentially about meeting the need for assistive technology. It is time to do more together, and I invite you to do more together with everyone. Thank you very much. Thank you very much.